after I finished my PhD, which was looking at people who have a type of heart disease that is caused by fatty deposits in the coronary arteries, I became interested in atrial fibrillation, which is an abnormal rhythm of the heart, and it occurs mostly in older adults. Around about half of the people with AF have no knowledge at all that they've got it. It's asymptomatic. So symptoms range from none at all to really quite severely debilitating. We know that drugs that are called oral anticoagulant drugs reduce the risk of having a stroke once you've been diagnosed with AF. Problem is that not everybody takes these medicines. So we wanted to do some work to support people to manage to take their medication. But we were also successful in getting oral anticoagulants, a particular new type called non-vitamin K oral anticoagulants to the World Health Organization Essential Medicines List. And the Essential Medicines List governs uh, the Essential Medicine Lists of, of many countries. So it's the model list for which others base their health policy. For us, this was really important because the work that we have been doing at Napier over the last six, seven years has had impact in terms of changing global health policy. We developed an app to support people living with atrial fibrillation. This app supports two facets of medication non-adherence. So the first thing is that when people don't take their medicines, it might be because they have beliefs about medications and the side effects that they might experience that put them off taking them. And the app helps them to understand why those medications are important. The second aspect of medication non-adherence is just non-intentional. We don't remember to take our medicines when we're supposed to. So we can set reminders and help support them in that way. Innovation for me is about thinking how we do things a bit differently. In terms of heart health, it's about uh, understanding how innovation might make those differences, but also about how we could collaborate together. And that's the real beauty of working here at Napier is we've got schools that are incredibly different, but actually can work together to address these key challenges. Uh, and I think to me that's, that's the really innovative bit about being here, is we have opportunities to change practice through thinking a little bit outside the box, but also by collaborating across our schools to potentially improve heart health and reduce that global burden. <laughs>